Ignazio Corrao, an Italian MEP from the Five Star Movement, raised the alarm on January 17 in Strasbourg, while launching his party's campaign for the European Parliament elections. The populist politician claimed that the salaries of the European commissioners are exorbitant, and with figures in his hand, he started pointing his fingers. He claimed the president of the commission, Jean Claude Juncker, receives 138% of the salary of the official with the highest grade of the commission, which is €27,436, £24,006 a month. He added that the high representative of the European Union for Foreign Affairs, Federica Mogherini, earns €25,845, €22,614 a month, while the Vice President, Franz Timmermans, earns €24,852, £21,745 a month, and the other commissioners earn. 22.852 euros, 19,995 pounds a month. However, he added, to these exorbitant figures, certain allowances should be added, such as residency, expatriation and children allowance. In total, in 2019, taxpayers will spend 12.6 million euros, 11 million pounds, to support the commission body. In addition, 682,000 euros, 596,429 pounds, has been budgeted for the transitional allowances, which is a sort of subsidy that the commissioners receive at the end of their Mandate for a period of two years, Italian MEP Ignazio Corral claimed that the salaries of the European commissioners are exorbitant. Image Getty, Jean-Claude Juncker earns €27,436, £24,006 a month. Image Getty, Mr. Corral called for the EU to change as soon as possible, claiming the bloc gives absurd privilege to politicians while imposing sacrifices on citizens in the name of budget constraints. Italis. Deputy Prime Minister Luigi Di Maio also hit out at the commissioners and wrote in a Facebook post, We have cut the privileges in Italy, now it's up to Europe, we are moving forward, the soon army is coming to Brussels and Strasbourg. He then published a picture showing the salaries of M.R. Juncker, Valdes Dombrovskis and Pierre Moscovici. Italy's Deputy Prime Minister Luigi Di Maio wrote on Facebook, soon army is coming to Brussels, image Getty. However, the European Commission immediately dismissed the five star movement politicians' claims. Marguerite Ischinas, the chief spokesman for the governing body, said, decisions on the remuneration of officials, staff and all staff are taken democratically by EU member states. During this pre-election period we will read many stories like this we have to stand by the facts and not to mythologies, the remunerations in the institutions are in line with those of the civil servants in the member states, 